So I have a colleague with me today, Mr. Mia. Say hello. Hello, Foot Doc. How are you? <laughs> I'm well. How are you? I'm fine. I'm we fine. are going to be doing a PRP injection today, a ultrasounded guided PRP injection uh, into a Liz Frank joint, which is quite difficult. PRP. Now, PRP is platelet rich plasma. Um, your body is made up of uh, red blood and platelets and plasma. Now, platelets contain um, building blocks and cytokines and they aid the healing of um, structures that are damaged. So what we're going to do in a minute is we have a patient with us, Kirk. We're going to be taking some blood from Kirk. Absolutely. He's also another pod. Yes. So that's yeah. a good thing. Uh, and we are then going to uh, spin the blood in our centrifuge, which is over there. Um, there's the centrifuge. <laughs> And then we're going to uh, re-inject the rich plasma. rich plasma into the damaged structure. Why do you use a centrifuge? To be able to separate the red blood uh, cells from the plasma itself. And then we're, what we're going to do then is we're going to take out a couple of mil of the poor plasma. And then we're going to um, take the platelets with the rich plasma and inject it via ultrasound into the Liz Frank joint. Blood from Kirk. Um, this whole area is called the anticupular fossa. It's got two very big veins. He's smiling away. I haven't taken blood from you yet, so wait. Uh, we've got two big veins that come to the side. On each side, we've got the uh, basilic and the cephalic on that side. The vein that we want is the median cubital vein, which is just sitting here, inside the anticupular fossa. So, clean this in circular manner. I like to go by what I can feel rather than what I can see. So that's a nice spongy vein that we're going to go through there. We've got a 23 gauge needle and we are just gently with the with the bevel side up going to come into the vein just there. And we've got some lovely red stuff. We have some out. blood from Kirk here. So what we do first is we invert this seven times. So once, twice, three, four, five, six, seven. Whatever you do, don't shake it like that. You're going to ruin it. Then we're going to put it into our centrifuge. Now yeah. we've put the uh, Kirk's blood and some water to balance it. And we've put it into the centrifuge and we're going to press start and this will spin and after 10 minutes we'll be able to uh, separate the plasma from the uh, red blood cells. So, it's been taken out of the centrifuge. Look what we have here. We have red blood cells, we've got plasma and in between, just sitting on top of them, we've got the platelets. So what we need to do now is we need to take a couple of mil of this poor platelet uh, had plasma out. You're taking the poor the plasma, poor plasma out. out. Yep. Uh, two to three mils. You need to put them in at a at, at an angle, and that's going to go down, and it's going to filter the wonderful plasma with the platelets. Wonderful. We've got three mil of platelet-rich plasma. All right, Tim. Just going deeper a bit. It is taking a lot of pushing as well, because remember it's a quite thick plasma. Now I'm fanning it out and trying to go deeper again, deeper layer, fanning it out again. 
So just to show that the needle I'm trying to hit certain net. Did we just move the needle? Did we see the needle? Yeah, just move it up and down a little bit. And you'll see it moving. Just yeah, there. there you go. It's just seeing you can there push you it. Okay, 